Hello, and thanks for joining me today, guys. We are going to learn about bar graphs. If you look right here, you can see that we have some fruit. I wanted to know what types of fruit my friends like, so I went out and asked my friends what fruit they like the most. Here you can see that I have tally marks to show how many of my friends liked which fruit most. You might know already, but a tally mark is a useful way to represent data. Each time a friend told me they liked a certain fruit, I would put a tally mark under that fruit to keep track of how many people liked that fruit. Now we will put all this information that I have gathered into a bar graph. A bar graph is another way to represent data. It is a lot like a picture graph, but without the pictures or symbols. Here is our graph, but the first thing we need to do with any graph is what? We need a title. Since the information we collected was on favorite fruits, let's call it favorite fruit. With this graph, I want to put the names of the fruit on the bottom and the numbers on the left side going up. We can see here on the bottom we have the names of the fruits. We should label what these are. This is obviously going to be labeled fruit, since they're fruit. On the side, we need to measure how many people liked these different types of fruit. We only need to go up to 6, since our information or tally marks only go up to 6. So the numbers going from 1 to 6 represent the amount of people. We can now fill out the graph according to our data. First in our data are the apples. We can see from the tally marks that two of my friends liked apples. So here on the graph, we will have this bar at the bottom go up two spots to show that two people liked apples. OK, next we have oranges. How many people liked oranges? Good job! Three people liked oranges. So we move the bar up to where the 3 is. Now how many people liked pears? We had just one that liked pears, so the bar goes up just one. The last one is bananas. There were 6 people that liked bananas, so the bar goes all the way up to 6. We now have an amazing bar graph that shows all of our data that I collected about what is the favorite fruit to eat. With this graph, it is easier to read and interpret the information. For example, I can see that only one person liked pears. Now that's interesting. Can you tell me what fruit was the most popular? We can tell from the graph that bananas were the most popular. Can you guys tell me? How many more people liked bananas than oranges? Looking at the graph, we see that 6 people liked bananas and 3 people liked oranges. Counting up the graph from 3 oranges, we count 1, 2, 3 spots. There are 3 more people that liked bananas instead of oranges. We can learn lots of cool information from this graph. Practice doing your own bar graphs and compare the information you collect. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please share the video and subscribe.